All right, let's uh, all right, let's get cracking. All right, what's up, everyone? Uh, today, I uh, probably don't have a lot of time to mess around in, in the garage today. Uh, trying to put this engine together. I have to. I want to work on the pistons, so I either got to gap the rings or uh, check the clearances on the crankshaft with the connecting rods. But uh, I'll probably do that first. The check the the bearing clearances and then we'll work on gapping the rings if we have time. Got Manly uh, H-beams for the, for the rods, and then we got CP pistons. Uh, first, thing, first things first, uh, I already kind of figured out which ones are going together. I weighed everything. Uh, I mean, the rods come with weights on them already. Matched them up. I had a scale to match the pistons, so I, everything's pretty even. So I have everything marked where I want them to go. So what I gotta do is connect the pistons to the rods. So I'm gonna try to do that first. Then we're gonna clean up the, the cylinder bores in here, push them through, check the, the clearances. Uh, I have the bearings for the rods somewhere. I think I see them up there. But um, let's do this. As I got everything laid out, the pistons, rods are here, manly. Pins, everything. I'm gonna to try to throw this together. Uh, don't need this at the moment, but Manly gives you some uh, clearance clearances that they recommend on their stuff. But uh, I gotta to attempt to put these together. Let's work on one at a time. Got these guys open. I right, got everything here. Pop one of these boys open. And what I'm gonna do is loop this up as I slide it in, because I don't plan on taking this back out. So this is gonna wind up slide it in there. Hopefully it slides right in. Uh, if not, I may need to heat this up just to expand it a little bit, but I don't think it will. Slides right in. All right, so uh, let me let me slap these guys in, and uh, let's check it out. So I got the one little guy in there. I don't know if you can see it. Bill. Wrist pin, got a little oil over here. Dunk it in. I got the uh, the lifters sit in oil because recommended by Nissan that if you're gonna have them sit a while, put them in in uh, oil. Making a mess already. I'm not ready for this. Let's throw this boy in. Not gonna want to go in easily. I don't think you can see me. Yes, we got. One down. Five more to go. That was horrible. My fingers feel. Fingers hurt right now, but got all six done. They're all in there, looking pretty good. Uh, next step, gonna clean out the bores, and then we're gonna send two at a time. Since depending how you turn the crankshaft, there's always gonna be two. I guess. I mean, I'm gonna flip it over, but they'll be up, but technically down. So they're all they'll be two at a time. Um, as we're tightening them, we gotta make sure. Do it even, and you don't want to spin the crank because there's, there's not going to be any lube on those uh, with the bearings. I got to throw the bearings in those, and uh, I guess we'll turn it halfway. We'll see. We'll see. I've got to I got to clean this out first, and then do other stuff. All right, so I cleaned up. <clears throat> I cleaned the block up, the cylinders. Um, I cleaned the crankshaft. Bearings are in the piston, so I'm gonna send piston. What do I have now? I'm gonna send one and six through right now. Uh, actually, I gotta throw some plastic gauge on it. If anyone was paying attention last video, um, anyone that actually uh, has built one of these before, uh, I misspoke with the crankshaft. Uh, 
the crankshaft uh, main bearings, I think I said it right the first time and then the second time I completely confused myself. The, the mains are supposed to be uh, 0.02 to 0.047. And I would, I'm basically at about 0.47. So I think we're right on with the, the mains. Uh, the connecting rods are supposed to be 0.02 to 0.04. So with the maximum of nine, uh, 0.09. So, uh, I'm gonna go, we're good, but guess what? I'm checking it anyway. Sending these through. Um, and I'm gonna have to crank, uh, gonna have to torque these down to 55 to 65 foot pounds. So I'm gonna throw these in quick and let me, let me just check them. And hopefully we're good. I gotta throw some plastic in on it. All right, so like I said before, with uh, my style rods, I believe, Everyone's gonna be different. This one gets torqued down to 55 to 65 foot pounds. So I'm gonna go right in the middle. I'm already set at 60 from the uh, from doing the mains. When I try to torque them down even, so I'm actually gonna do a instead of that, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a 30 pound 30 pound foot, foot pound pass first. Then we'll go the full 60. Here you go for the 60 foot pounds. Then we're gonna crack them loose and uh, check the clearances. All right, those are at 60. I'm gonna crack them loose, uh, pull the pistons out, check my clearances. Hopefully we're good. Hopefully we don't have to order new bearings. And then we're gonna do that another two times. We're gonna do cylinder two and four five and then three and four together and then once those are all good our bearing clearances are good then I just got to worry about gapping the piston rings but I will probably wind up doing that uh, next video so I got those out uh, so I'll pull you over you can see might be a little hard to focus It's hard to show, but uh, it's right at 0.38, which obviously spec is point, uh, sorry, it's at 0 0.038 and spec is 0 0.04. So we are in spec. Uh, I, the cylinder one is the same exact thing. It's, it's easier to show on cylinder six for some reason. Um, gotta do that two more times and then we're good. So I wanna thank you guys for joining me on the quick video. Uh, basically put the pistons and rods together, threw them in the, the block, um, made sure the clearances were good on the, the connecting rod bearings, and guess what, they're all good. So uh, moving forward, next video you're gonna see, uh, we'll probably be gapping the piston rings. Uh, I threw one in to check it, it's probably, it definitely has to be filed down. I mean, they give them to you large, so you file them to size. Um, they give you like a, a guideline to go by, so I'm gonna follow theirs, uh, CP pistons. Uh, I'm gonna follow their guideline, and we're gonna get these gaps. Throw them in the, throw them in, crank them down, and then the whole like bottom end is really done. I'll just, I could put on the oil pickup, and um, I think I gotta put like the rear main seal on the oil pump. Then I could put the oil pan on. So we're moving along. It's getting there, little by little, and it's gonna be awesome. So thanks for joining me. And like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I got this stuff back from powder coating. Uh, I will show you that another time. Uh, see you guys in the next one.